Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to be doing a review on these two different kinds of creamers. So these are in the refrigerated section. I got both of these at my local Walmart. Now what's really intriguing was the silk almond creamer, the salted caramel, and then the French vanilla international delight. So I just made a pot of coffee, but I also got some cold brew. I've been finding that these creamers work really well with iced coffee. So first, let's take a look, see how they look. So here we've got the, this is the silk almond one. It looks really good. Always got to shake these. Here we've got the French vanilla. Definitely real creamy, real rich. So yeah, there's what they look like. Okay, so let's let's go over some of the the uh, soy's got. 25 calories, International's got 35, five grams of sugar, and this one's only got three grams of sugar. And the soy is almond milk. Okay, so first I'm gonna add it to a hot cup of coffee and then we'll do the iced coffee. So again, I like to add some, I probably add a little too much each time, but it's nice to give them both a good stir. Okay, let's give them a taste test. Okay, that one tastes pretty good. That one tastes really good. Yeah, that one tastes pretty good. This one, do we need to stir it some more? It's like it wasn't mixing up properly. Like it was separating a little bit. So the International Delight, mm, really good. So both of them take away the bitterness of coffee and they add a little sweetness to it and creamer to it. So with this, I really don't have to add sugar. I just can't, gosh, I can't stop looking at that. It keeps like separating. I don't know, it's, it tastes fine. It just, well, weird. I didn't see that the first time I did it. And that's really hot coffee but it just kind of separates after a little bit. Yeah, there it goes again, see? Huh. A little weird. Yeah, puzzling. Okay, so now it's time for the cold brew. I really like cold brew coffee now over ice. And what I found is, so the salted caramel one tastes really good. It does taste better than the French vanilla. You can add, you can almost add too much because it is so rich. It definitely doesn't take as much. When you normally add like milk, I'll add a lot more milk than that. And then some syrups, but you definitely don't need to add that much. All right, so let's give these a stir. Okay, so first the salted caramel. That tastes, that tastes absolutely delicious. I was absolutely blown away how good that tastes. The salted caramel is exactly what it tastes like. Now let's go to the French vanilla. Okay, so that's a very good French vanilla. Be careful, I found that I can add too much of this. Once, if you add too much of this to an iced coffee, it overpowers it and doesn't taste very good. But the second one I made, I didn't add as much and it tastes, it tastes really good. Tastes like a really good French vanilla. All the bitterness of the coffee is there. You can still taste the coffee, but all the bitterness of the coffee is gone and you're definitely uh, tasting like a mixed drink now. So again, these are in the refrigerated section. There's a whole bunch in the refrigerated section now. I've been seeing a lot, whenever I go to Walmart, I see a lot of people buying um, re, uh, refrigerated creamers. And I'm like, well, what's going on? So then I started looking, well, there's a lot of variety. I've bought a few Starbucks ones and they were okay. They were real rich, but this one seemed real popular. And then I've always liked International Delight and both of these are very good. But again, where creamers are starting to shine is with iced coffee. They taste delicious. So I hope this video helps. Thanks again, everybody. If you could, please like and subscribe.